3121. It's free, it's easy, and you don't even have to give your name, just your zip code, and they'll hook you up to your congressman. Call 202-224-3121 and tell Congress you support marijuana legalization. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, 15 after the hour, time for us to go behind the headlines. And I saw this post up on Huffington Post about an entrepreneur who is planning for a $100 million Marlboro of Weed brand. Uh, Let's take a look at his little pitch, his commercial that he's got, and then we'll uh, come back and talk about this a little later. November 6, 2012, Washington and Colorado vote to become the first legal marijuana markets in the entire world. Similar to the gold rush of 1849, many pioneers pack their bags and head west in search of great fortunes. Prohibition Brands presents Sheriff Roach, Ms. Kitty, and Sassy Galore, and Blazer in Green Rush. Well, how to do, folks? I'm Sheriff Roach. And I've come out here to the wild, wild west in search of the marijuana green rush. Hush. I'd love to let y'all in on an itty bitty secret. We've come out here to start the world's first international marijuana business called Prohibition Brands. And we're a marijuana blending company. Hey y'all, Prohibition Brands. Is the marijuana equal of a bottle of Budweiser or a pack of Marlboros? Our brands include Roaches, Marijuanettes, and La Cubana. We're trying to raise up to $50 million through venture capital groups, crowdfunding sites, and investors just like you. So that's right, even you. Yes, you sitting home on your couch, you can be part of the Marijuana Green Rush. Our patent pending technology creates the world's first marijuana filter. And we've created innovations for preserving freshness. For roadshow days, employment opportunities, or how to get involved, visit us online at www.prohibitionbrands.com. Prohibition Brands, science in smoking. Marijuana is illegal under federal law and is classified as a Schedule One substance. Investing in stocks involves risk, including but not limited, speculative nature, loss of investment, lack of investigation, lack of investment, and so on. Consumption of marijuana involves unknown risks to your health that include, possibly include, addiction, memory loss, decreased motor function, decreased lung capacity, increased acceptability, others, and so on. Marbo and Budweiser are registered trademarks of their respective companies. Prohibition Brands, MarijuanaBlending.co, ProhibitionBrands.com. So there's a look at this uh, video for Prohibition Brands. And I know this guy says he's going to try to raise uh, millions and millions of dollars with that. And this just goes to show the uh, the green rush, as he put it, and how people that aren't involved or have any idea about marijuana and its consumers, uh, how they see us. And trying to compare this to a Marlboro or a Budweiser is some of the worst framing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this guy, though, uh, he, he's a real he, he's a real uh, uh, example here. Let me let me give you one of his quotes. He says, quote, anyone who has met me or dealt with me in business would tell you that I'm an absolute genius comparing himself to the late Apple CEO Steve Jobs, quote, I come from a background of having an idea and executing a physical product from an idea, and that's what's relevant and needed in the marijuana market, end quote. Right, because nobody involved in marijuana knows a damn thing about marketing or selling marijuana. We need you. Uh, He filed with the SEC and uh, pointed out in his filings that he's not versed in similar markets like alcohol or tobacco. And uh, he says, besides his experience, his penchant for risk-taking and irreverence will translate into success in the marijuana industry. He's been arrested several times over the past decade on charges that include having a fake ID, possessing a small amount of marijuana, and charged with grand theft auto last year when he failed to return a rental vehicle on time. In response to that, he says, quote, that's really been my fearlessness ever since I was a kid that the police really don't scare me too much. I bring that extraordinary view to the table, end quote. Well, I'm glad they don't scare you too much because you might be having to deal with them quite a bit, especially with the publicity stunt that he's planning 
He is attempting to roll a joint containing one kilogram, 2.2 pounds, of marijuana. Well, buddy, you wouldn't be the first. I've seen a couple of uh, one kilo joints before, but we don't have quite that much. We've got a little bit with Brian here. How you doing, Brian? Hey, hi, everybody. Time to celebrate a 420. Let's get it on. Uh, have you ever met that funny repo man? A repo man. Have you ever met that funny repo man? A repo man. If he said,